welcome back to another vlog now today's vlog is going to be a vlog and a get ready with me you know all in one i don't know why i'm circling my living room but i'm just trying to not stand still <laughs> yeah today's video is going to be a get ready with me and a vlog all in one i hope you guys actually enjoy this video let me just say something before we start this video before we start out this vlog thank you guys so much for the positive response on my previous video I really do appreciate it you guys I really really do and the love you guys I don't take it for granted I don't take the support for granted so thank you thank you thank you thank you now I just got done with work I already showered my get ready with me would be like a casual night out type get ready with me yeah hair makeup outfit and fragrance so Tuned. it's exciting i haven't had anything to eat today i am super hungry when i'm done then i can eat something but right now i just want to get on the video let me show you guys my setup this is definitely not going to be my permanent setup i'm going to be switching it around besides like my contest cannot be fixed anyway but this is what i have that i'm working with today this is the wig i'm working with today i'm going to let you guys in a few seconds where this wig is from but i'm going to be installing it on my head and you guys are going to see that and then i just put a mirror and then like my makeup okay so you guys don't judge me those makeup brushes they look terrible but we're not going to speak on it let me just you know turn on my camera no not turn on my camera let me just let me just set up completely and then we can start recording let me drop you guys first because i'm about to make a mess because i don't know who the fuck i think i am holding a camera and trying to set up okay so we're going to start with hair i just hope my mic is working well and we're going to start with this new unit this new wig now um i'm not going to talk too much about this wig but this wig is from ali grace it is their 13 by 5 teapot wig now to be honest with you i don't even know how i'm going to maneuver this wig because it was not my intention to get a teapot wig because i honestly don't know what you could possibly do with a teapot wig especially because it looks like this there's no versatility to the wig so i don't really know i think i should step back a bit because i feel like i'm in all of, like your spaces yeah i think this is better i don't know what i could possibly do with a teapot wig but i'm going to make it work today it's literally 10 inches and you guys know if you're, if you're not familiar with a tea part wig a tea part wig basically is god this thing looks so white i just hope i don't look stupid at the end of the day says i bleached the knot there's no amount of plucking you can do to this wig there's basically no extra work no not what i mean by no extra work i actually mean there is basically nothing you can do to this wig it, it definitely just has to be like this but i'm actually going for something like this something as crazy and as short as this so we're going to try and maneuver this in the best but i see i'm actually going for something like this you know well i i try to i have a little bit of shedding but that's because i try to like pluck the lace a little bit but you can't pluck this lace you can't do anything to this lace i'm going for you guys see like a side not a side part because you can't part it but a messy you know side you guys will see what i'm talking about but i'm not really a huge fan of this lace because you guys can see it's white it's white so i'm going to try my best to make sure that i don't look crazy okay i'm going to just take the got to be spray and i'm going to try to lay this <laughs> the best possible way that i can Believe it or not, this took me quite a while. This is what I was going for. The lace, on the other hand, I'm not particularly fond of. Like, I don't really like the lace like that because it took me a lot to even get it to look like this, which isn't the best look, to be honest, because the lace wasn't exactly, you know, it wasn't even dark skin friendly. Talk more, you know, you know skin melt whatever but then it looks good this is what i'm going for i'm going for a very messy type you know short hair short curly hair type look this is what i'm going for 
I'm going to dive right into my makeup. Listen, ugh, you guys. I don't know how to do makeup like that. But uh, this is the Huda Beauty Foundation in the shade Nutmeg. I think this is a tad bit too light for me. I don't know why. When I tried it in the store at Sephora, it was perfect for me. But now it's a tad bit light for me. Now, I'm not going to show you guys all the process because that's just too much. But I'm also going to be using for highlight, for highlight under my eyes, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Bond This Way concealers. I have toffee and sand and i'm going to mix them together to get my perfect on eye. so you're going to see how this looks on me like in a second I'm going to use the Pro Filter Fenty Beauty Pro Filter um, Setting Powder in the shade Honey. This is what it looks like if you're wondering. I'm going to use this to set this in place. This is how I love to wear um, my concealer when I'm going out. I mean the mixture of um, Too Faced Bond This Way, Toffee and Sand. Perfect. Perfect for my skin tone. Perfect. I feel like I actually forgot how to do makeup. Like, it's not like I forgot. I feel like the interest I had like many, many years ago, I kind of fell off from that. And it's also because I realized that I'm more into like lifestyle than beauty. Although I am interested in beauty, but then I'm not crazy about it. So yeah, I'm going to do it like every now and then but i'm not going to like focus on it if you get what i mean like i'm not really that interested to learn about you know new makeup trends you know new products hell i don't even buy makeup anymore like i don't buy makeup as much as i used to before i don't know if i'm the only one that is experiencing that phase in life i don't really do that but that's why if i recommend a product for you it's good <laughs> because I'm not the type that actually um, I don't give a lot of attention like I just buy like a good thing and I stick to that good thing I was almost skipping this step but I know this is a bit oof, this is everywhere but um, I'm just going to use glitter glue for my brows I like to do this because I don't know it just gives me like a very lovely look that I like it gives my brows lovely look that i like so i just use this glitter glue to like push my hair up i don't really have like specific like brow glue but i mean when you can't lay your hands on those you just make do with what you have and i have this glitter glue and i'm never going to use it so i'm just going to you know you keep using it for my brows still it's finished you know so I have my brows on and <sighs> let me just say <laughs> they are not my brows are not cooperating with me today I don't know what I did wrong to them but for eyeshadow I'm going to take the OPV Beauty London Emoja palette I'm going to take from here I'm going to take the eyeshadows from here and I'm just going to dip dip and play around with colors to be honest with you I haven't done like I haven't had like colors in my eyelid for like a very long time and today oh my god this palette is a mess my palettes are usually a mess and that's because i actually do not take care of them so i'll take in the palette there's a color called yewa i'm gonna take that i'm trying to go for something out of the norm or something out of my usual i'm going to link everything everything that i use everything that i wear i mean I can't link my jewelry for sure but I'm going to try my best to link like everything that I talk about everything that I show in this in this video in the description box below including like the makeup I'm gonna leave the names at least if I cannot find a link I'll leave, I'll leave the the name so you could always like you know go back and you know check and stuff but yeah I'm going to bronze my face and I'm going to be using the Revolution Beauty 
matte bronze eye in dark. This is how it looks like. I believe I have a video on my channel that I did like a whole review of these bronzers. I don't know if it's still up now, but I think it should be. If it is, I'm going to link it in the description box below. If it's not, these are really good bronzers. <laughs> Come get it with you. You be my American boy. American boy. American boy. I really love this hair, y'all. I really, really love this hair because I mean I like the the style, the content that I was going for. I just prefer it to be like a better lace and you know a better hair. You know, I'm going to pop in my lashes and then come back to do my highlights, show you guys what highlights I'm using, and we'll be done with this makeup. I don't really do too much. I put on my lashes, use some eyeliner, use some black eyeliner under like my waterline, and I'm just going to set my face with the OG of all setting spray. This is the MAC Prep and Prime, the Fix Plus. Yeah, the regular one, the ones that, the one I will be using for time. Just going to. I still love this stuff. I think the only two things I use, I still use for Mac, is my face powder, which is the uh, mineral, oh, oh, mineralized powder in dark deep. I still use this, and I also still use the Fix Plus. That's all I still use for Mac. I don't even know what other new products they have. But these ones, I'm still going to use. Oh, it's been a while I used my Fenty Beauty highlighter. Trophy Wife! I remember when this was the only highlighter that everyone talked about. I'm going to use this today. I'm going to put this a little bit. goes a long way. <laughs> Just a tiny little bit. I'm going to put this. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. And this goes... Yeah, just a little like this, just to like, you know, there's a lot though. I need to blend this out somehow, somehow, somehow. Okay, put this here. Yeah, I'm done with that. I'm supposed to actually use liner under my eyes. I just use the tip of the liner and then I you know, make my eyes, my lash, four. I don't know why I can't talk. I like to give myself a beauty spot. Um, so I'm going to take this. Yeah. Yeah. So. I like to do this. I think I'm going to put on my lips when I'm done with my outfits. So I'll come back when I'm completely done with the outfit and all that and I'll show you guys what outfit and fragrance that I'm going to use. Okay, I think I should step back a bit so you guys can see. Yeah. All right, so, so I'm currently done with getting dressed. I feel like I said a casual look, but I don't think I look that casual. Well, this is casual to me. This is casual to me. I'm dressed, I'm dressed right now, and I'm going to show you guys the outfit that I put together in a bit to step out with, but I already told you guys that I'm going to be including like a fragrance that I'll wear with the outfit. Before I show you guys the outfit, I'm going to show you the fragrance that I would wear with this outfit. Now, this is Mosque Noble by Guerlain. This is a very in fact let me spray right now i know oh this is what i want to smell like when i look like this i think i'm actually pulling off a little bit of a 60s or 90s vibe. no not 60s 90s vibe so i know this is perfect for it this actually smells really elegant and i would highly highly recommend that if you've never tried this before even if you can't really get the whole bottle, but you could actually get the sample of this just to try out. And if you like it, then you can get the whole bottle. If I show you guys the outfit, let's talk about the accessories that I have on because these are 
pretty easy and the whole outfit you might not really see it like close up so i have earrings on i think these are for misguided the small stop is from h&m this ring is from italo jewelry i think i have a video on my channel where i talked about this um this is this ring should be from h&m this is my Michael Kors wristwatch that I've had for <laughs> God knows how long. I think maybe like six years or five years now. This jewelry is from where is this from? Jess's Made. This also is from Jess's Made. Uh, these are from Parfois, and this one was uh, a gift. Pretty much all the jewelry I have on. I love jewelry. I love like putting jewelry together, like accessorizing and stuff. So y'all know i'm coming to you guys with it so let let me show you guys the outfit and let me give you guys a little something to be able to see how your girl is looking right now So I'm done getting ready. No, I'm done. You guys already saw the clip. You saw how I, you know, styled the outfit and all that good stuff. But honestly, I'm so hungry. I've not had anything to eat all day. I ordered some Indian stuff. I'm going to show you guys. But I'm going to show you guys what I ordered. But I need to like settle down. I need to settle down and show you guys for sure. And yeah i don't mind my eyes i'm actually a bit tipsy because i've been drinking 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 that's so totally off beat <laughs> but you all get it but yeah um i still have my whole setup a mess i haven't usually when i film it's always a mess so expected but let me just sit down and then get myself prepped then i'll talk to you guys okay just give me a second okay give me a second i have chicken tikka and i have naan then i also have rice so i'm just going to like eat while i tell you guys about my new um plan for the channel all right so what had happened was I lost the clips I don't know how I don't know honestly what happened but then I actually lost the clips and I'm honestly sad about that but I decided to still go ahead and explain to you guys in a nutshell um, you know what I was talking about in the clips that I lost so basically I wanted to talk to you guys about this concept of vlogging and I wanted to ask for your feedback on what you thought about this video so I would really really appreciate it if you take like one second or two from your time uh, while you're watching the video to leave me your thoughts about you know this video I actually have the um, I have the intention of making this type of videos like more often I mean a vlog style get ready with me for like different occasions like when i go out even if i don't go out i could just make out make like a get ready with me with like a little you know something in between like you guys see in this video but i just wanted to have like your opinion if it's something that you'd be interested to watch just let me know what you think about the video to be honest in the comment section below that's all i wanted to see that's all i was rambling about but you know there were other things that i spoke about too but they were just like you know banter basically i wish you guys actually got the opportunity to watch that clip but i guess god has a different plan for me but then in summary like i said just let me know what you think in the comment section below about this video and also feel free to leave your suggestions about uh 
Ugh, what the hell? <laughs> Feel free to leave your suggestions on the type of get ready me with me that you'd like to also see on my channel. Even if I'm not going out, you could just let me know that you want to see this and the third, and I will incorporate it in any vlog that I upload. Basically, if you're not following me on Instagram again, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram. We're always lead on that app. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye. Love you. Thank you.